Hi, I'm Nancy Williams, and my partners and I own a healing center in Eustis, Florida. And we're all three nutritional counselors, and we use a different number of healing modalities to get our clients well and to keep them healthy. One of those healing modalities is the Energy Foot Spa. And we've had a lot of positive results with the Foot Spa and sometimes even miraculous results. But when we first considered getting the Foot Spa, I bought one and we used it at home for my husband, who I'm going to introduce here in just a minute. And it was his change in his back problems that really made us understand and know that using the foot spa was going to really give us some great results with our clients too. So I'd like to introduce my husband Denny and he's going to explain about his back history and what the foot spa has done to help him. Hi, my name is Denny Williams and I'm here to talk about the foot spa and what it's done for me and my back problem. Uh, early in my high school and college career, if you want to say it that way, I played sports very hard and injured myself several times. I also was thrown from a convertible and had a back injury as well as a trampoline injury. After college, I went to graduate school and got a master's degree in chemistry at Purdue University and then went to teaching at a private high school and a local junior college. I taught chemistry and physics for 10 years and during that 10 years there was four years where my back problem became so severe that I had to sleep in a reclining chair. After going to many doctors uh, we finally decided to have surgery on some facets in my vertebrae and there was some relief for several years. I was able to sleep in a bed but would get up every morning after a short night's sleep with uh, some pretty severe muscular back problems and pains. Here just a few years ago after I met my wife she started me on a program of herbs and some other uh, supplements which helped my back situation and I started to sleep for longer periods of time in bed but I still would wake up in the morning with some some pretty painful muscular uh, back pains. When we finally started to use the spa, I was totally amazed for one thing that I slept probably for an hour or two longer than I had slept for some time. And I got up and I started realizing that I had not gotten up with the same back pain that I have had for many years. And the only variable that I could think of was is that I had used the foot spa. As a result of that experience, I now use the foot spa on a regular basis, probably twice a week. And it has just made a difference in my sleeping, and how I wake up in the morning. I no longer have to take extremely hot long showers to relieve some of the pain that I feel in the morning. Once I'm up and around and my muscles get stretched, my back pain seems to be uh, relieved. Now it is true that if I do a tremendous amount of work or I'm on my feet or do any one task for long periods of time the muscles get sore and weak and, and uh, uh, the pain comes back. But I have to say that as a result of using the foot spa it is the only thing that really has changed my life in terms of my back pain. With the success I've had with the foot spa, naturally we have bought one for our house and I use it, as I think I've said, at least twice a week. You may ask, what, how do I think that maybe this foot spa has helped my situation? And coming from my physics and chemistry background, I have some ideas. I really think that the electrical fields set up around uh, the electrodes in this foot spa that those fields 
have affected the polarity fields around the molecules of my system. Now, from a physics and chemistry background, I understand how polarities uh, in electromagnetic fields are affected by other uh, electric magnetic fields. In fact, many discoveries have been found uh, inadvertently many times on how the electric magnetic fields of one thing affects some of the others. In fact, the microwave was discovered accidentally by somebody walking by uh, a place that was producing microwaves with a candy bar in his pocket and he had stood around uh, this area for a few minutes and walked away and found it out found out that his uh, candy bar was melted and that's how uh, the microwave was started. I, I think that the electromagnetic waves somehow produce blood cells that spread apart, that they're not coagulated together or pushed together, and they're separated by these polarities. And what it does is it creates larger surface areas for the rest of the body systems to function. This is only a guess, but I really think that there must be something in these electromagnetic fields that are making a difference in my body.